This is what the Asian longhorn beetle looks like. This is what an infestation looks like. Dime-sized exit holes, shallow scars in the bark, sawdust-like material around the tree, and dead branches. So this is what you should look like. Because when you do nothing to stop the ALB, this is what our trees could look like. Look for and report the Asian Longhorn Beetle at AsianLonghornBeetle.com. We are joined now by our friend Mark Bays with Oklahoma Forestry Services. Welcome back to the show. Oh, nice to invite me back. And That's a nasty course. looking critter. It though? It's, know, it's right? pretty mean. They're not in Oklahoma yet, but it is something that there's about 70% of our forests all across the country that they're at risk this, uh, hmm. from this infestation that's coming out. Uh, in the mid 90s, it was in New York, then it's now over in Chicago, and it's kind of huh. moving through. And so mm -hmm. it is something that they're on the watch for. So uh, we're just asking people to go out and look. This is the perfect time of year to look for it. Uh, we have a photo of an insect that looks just like this, actually pretty close to Oklahoma. Uh, so the well, Asian longhorn beetle is over on the left, and mm -hmm. you can kind of see that we have a cottonwood borer that we found in Oklahoma, and it actually only gets on cottonwood trees. But you see the similarities, and so there's some confusion out there. They're both over an inch and a half long, but on the Asian longhorn beetle, you have those little white things on the antenna. And yeah, those are funky looking bugs. Yeah. I'd like to put that bug on my neighbor's cottonwood oh, yeah, tree. Yeah. Oh, quit <laughs> shedding into my yard. Right. <laughs> no, well, I'm not joking. I'm joking. I would not kill a tree on purpose. Well, good. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Except for okay. firewood. Yeah. That's well, right. and, and another good. Or reason. to eat it. Or to eat it. Yes. And that's another that's good true. time to get out and look at your trees. Not only for the bad things, but look for the good things yeah. that you can find on. On the trees and everything and so yeah. so that's what we're going to show you today is okay. the, and I know that's why Drew's not here because he heard I was going to feed him some stuff and everything. Yeah, he took, he took a powder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's like, whoa, Mark Bay is going to be in the kitchen. I am out. Yeah. I was a big fan of Yule state. Gibbons, so I step in. There so. you go. Some parts are edible. Yeah, but what we're going to do today is we're going to do sumac tea uh, and Wait, sumac. Su sumac? Sumac. That's right. Doesn't, isn't that bad? Doesn't that make you itch? Like well, poison ivy? There, there's poison sumac, poison ivy, poison oak. We do not have poison sumac in Oklahoma. Oh. Cross my heart as a forester. And yeah. everything. I'll tell well, you that's that. That's a pledge. Well, there you well, go. The, 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 and and the, the poison sumacs and oaks, they have white berries. What okay. we have here is a sumac from red berries, obviously. Mm -hmm. And so you can kind of get a sense here that we have shining sumac, we have smooth sumac, and we have prairie sumac. But here's the berries that we have uh, mm -hmm. coming from a sumac, and, and 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 the one on the left here is is the dry. This, uh, one, this one right this here. This one here okay. is the dry, and this one over here is is kind of the wet. So you're kind of seeing both of those right now. But now is a perfect time to go out uh, and collect these, and then you can make a tea out of it. Really right. easy to do. Perfect. So first thing we can do is it must be if you're going to ask us to help. <laughs> well, here, why don't, you, why don't you come over here? Why don't you clip okay. off some of those bottom things like that? I have the tool. Here. You have the tool, That's and, right. and so, Abby can so go like in this? and just yes, just clip off those ends, and then just start stuffing them in there. Okay, yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. And like I, with the with the yeah, just go ahead and put okay. it all in there. I tell you what, why Ooh. don't you start peeling some of the yeah, mint? Because I'm killing that. Yeah, yeah. So so right. peel okay. some of the mint. Some right. I like to put a little mint in it too. Kind of gives it a little flavor. Now did you to clean like this, there. Mark? Yeah, okay. trust me. Yeah. Do you wash it at all or blow it? I mean, what? <laughs> well, you, you stick you, it in raw or what? Yeah, you can. Now you, <laughs> <laughs> it is raw. He didn't, but that's all right. But uh, no, now so you when, don't you, wash when, it. when you go out and, and it's along roadsides, and I'll show you what the plant looks like. We have another picture here of what the what the tree it actually looks like just to bury itself out in the wild. Oh yeah, I've seen and, those. And so it's along the road, so you go out and you can cut those off like that. Um, Make sure they're not in someone's yard though. Yeah. <laughs> now the red berries that I got, this is Pearl Pearson. She's the horticulture curator over uh, at the Oklahoma City Zoo right now. Look how mm -hmm. big that plant is. It's a big plant. Be careful, it's along the roads and everything, but this is what we had to deal with. Uh, the, this last picture of, of Pearl uh, mm -hmm. right next to where we had, we had to like fight the alligators off and everything. Really? There were some alligators right next so, to it. So you really worked for right this Right there? Tea. Right there. Oh, see, that. see, that's an alligator. I didn't know we, no, so, so, we yeah, don't have Watch those. out for that. Yeah. No, that's in the zoo. At the zoo. Oh, yeah. at the anyway, zoo. Yeah. I was like, so, we don't have alligators right, in Oklahoma. So next, put this okay. in here. Uh, put the put the. How much mint do you put in? As much as you like. You like a lot of mint? Sure. Okay. I like a minty drink. All right, so we do this. Just throw that in there. You put warm water, and it, you can seep for 20 minutes uh, or as long as hours. Put the top on that. Let that go over there. Okay. And just sit it out in the sun. Now the next step is. I let this kind of curate for a little while, and so after you do that, you can kind of get a sense. Wait, curate? Curate. Okay. Yeah, not ferment, but okay. curate. Right. Uh, okay. You know? And so what you do with that then is you cut a little piece of cloth. Can you hold that for mm -hmm. me? 
Mm -hmm. Is this kind of like a gauze that you have here? This is a cheesecloth. Okay. Yeah, so, and usually sharp scissors help. Like okay. Yeah. And everything. <laughs> so why don't you put that over that jar like that. All right. Okay. And then, uh, happy if you wanted to pour uh, that pour into in? it like that. All right. Make a little oh, bit of indentation oh, like right. that and pour into that. And then it will, uh, it kind of gets all of those seeds and everything out. So now it's just nothing but pure juice that's going down in there. How long did it sit out in the sunlight and, and cure? Uh, this one was out for four hours. Oh, so, wow. Uh, okay. Sometimes it's as little, it depends. If you want it really tart, you leave it longer. If you don't like it as tart, then you, uh, you could 30 minutes, okay. an hour. And you refrigerate, like had it in the refrigerator. Yeah, had this one in the refrigerator. So the sumac makes it tart. It's got yes. a tart taste. Okay. It's got a tart, lemony mm -hmm. flavor mm -hmm. to it. And so, Throw this away, or yep. can you use it for something else? Right. You can do that. Now, you have the two different flavors here. We can test these if you'd like. Sure. Real yeah, quick. Of course. Here, there's that. Now, this is the one made out of the dry sumac, and people say that it tastes like a like a, like a a green tea or something. Okay. Uh, it, of the it, which one now? The dry? The, it is the something dry. Made out okay. of the dry. And um, it's, it's kind of like a tea flavor. You can put yeah. honey and different it stuff like, like that into uh -huh. it. Uh, It'd be great with honey. Yeah. It, it's an Very antioxidant. Like yeah. Um, yeah. You, you can use it in all sorts of things like that. So That's good. really good. That is real refreshing. Hmm. So I like it. So you, oh, I need to finish. Sorry. Sorry. And the mint wasn't too overpowering at no, all? No, no. My bad. Yeah. And okay. so then this is with the... This looks like moonshine, i got to admit. I know, I know. So, so this is going to be a little more tart. Is this what makes it special? This is the ha special have, stuff. Have yeah. Stuff yeah, it has in it? a little okay. knick-knick in it. Knick-knick. <laughs> okay. That tastes like natural lemonade. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it great? It's a little tart. That tastes just... Woo! It's a little tart. That's good. But yeah. it's not overpowering tart. I mean, the first shot was compared to what the last one was. It's kind of like a natural right. crystal light. There you go. Yeah, very good. All right, we're not done yet. We're going to do some more stuff with sumac. We're going to take a little break here and uh, come back and uh, we're going to chop up some stuff and All right. make some spice. All right. All right. Keep we'll be right, right back. Yeah. Mm. Good. Yeah, don't really take good. it all.